Welcome back to Kids Invent Stuff, I'm Sean. And I'm Ruth, and we bring to life kids' invention ideas, and this week we are building... Nine-year-old Ava's idea for a pair of graffiti shoes. Let's build it! Go! Kids Invent Stuff. To bring to life Ava's invention, we're going to modify some shoes to include some spray nozzles with some paint cans that the user can wear connected to the shoes via some pipes. And we'll use some motors to automatically dispense the paint whenever we press a remote control. The most important first thing to make graffiti shoes is spray paint. Look at this. Orange and another orange. Purple. Pink. Another orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Black. Look at it all! Looks so good! And this spray paint is absolutely amazing. We're not sponsored by these guys, but it is genuinely our favourite spray paint. And we now have loads of it! So now we've got to work out a way to fire some spray paint through some shoes. So we've got our shoes. We're actually going to make a pair of these shoes each. Look at the size difference! Who's a who's, Ruth? They're identical. <laughs> you could literally take your shoes, put them inside another pair of shoes, and fit them inside my giant size 13s. These are ridiculous. Huge feet. So in Ava's drawing, you press a button and paint comes out the side of your shoes. So you've got to find a way to be able to remotely press down the paint for it to somehow go through some sort of pipe and come out of a nozzle on the side of our shoe. So this is the first thing we've tried to set off our nozzle to set up the spray paint automatically. We've got a car central locking actuator which goes up and down and we've tried this and basically doesn't work very well. I will demonstrate. It takes a surprising amount of force to push down the, uh, the little nozzly button thing on the top of the spray can and this doesn't, oh, when it actually lines up. This doesn't actually work very well. It hasn't got enough force to actually push the nozzle down. So we have an alternative plan. We have these relatively powerful servo motors, which should be strong enough to push down the nozzle on our can. And the great thing about these is they can be controlled with a remote control, the sort of thing you'd use for a remote control car. I think it's time for a build montage. So we've made these little hats that sit on top of our spray cans and they have the servo motors mounted on the top of them and the little horn all lines up with our spray nozzle and they have these holes on the front of them because we're going to swap the nozzle for a nozzle like this and this bit of pipe will point out through this hole and attach to our pipe which will go all the way down to our shoes. 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 What are we doing, Sean? I'm about to drill a hole in this lovely pair of shoes. Well, not just one hole, three holes. So, drilling holes in the shoes didn't work because they're all rubbery. So, we decided that the next best thing would be to just melt the holes. What could possibly go wrong? Got to make sure that the hole comes out perfectly out the other side, not some random other part of the shoe. This is so stressful. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa! It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. So on Ava's drawing, her shoes are super colourful. So we've got some funky colours to paint our shoes. Graffiti artists use different size caps on their spray cans to get different types of lines. So we need to find out which caps work best when you're painting with your feet. Whoa, that one's huge. <laughs> Smaller but splatterier. Red caps for the win. It's shoe reveal time. Oh, they look great. Look at the shoes. Loving the yellow. So good. They look amazing. I am very excited to wander around firing out spray paint from my feet. So we've got to put our laces back in and pipe the shoes. Plumb them. Plumb the shoes. Let's plumb these shoes. So we've got our caps mounted and to hold them in place, what we've done is we've just pulled our little stretchy silicon pipe tight and we've put a little cable tie on there so we can easily adjust them and replace the caps if they get blocked up and it seems to work. Mm -hmm. 
So we've got these lithium batteries to power our servo motors. And these are my new favorite thing. Look, they have a battery full tester thing on the side. So you can see how much juice is in it. So we've got this beautiful compact <laughs> belt where we can store all of our paint and all of our things to make our shoes portable. Let's spray some paint. So we need a big, open, well-ventilated space to test Ava's invention. So we thought, we're better than the workshop roof. So we've set ourselves up two giant canvases. Look at those. So Ava was very specific that you have to wear special socks while using her graffiti shoes. So Sean and I have got some very special Christmas socks, thank you Sean's mum, that we're gonna wear for this invention. So we've got blank canvases, what are we gonna paint? I thought we could paint each other. You wanna do portraits? We could do portraits using our graffiti shoes. This is going to be amazing and unflattering, I'm sure. <laughs> First test of the shoes, we're gonna film it in case it all goes horribly wrong and it's funny. It's like getting covered in pain. Ooh, colours! Colours, pretty colours! We've made graffiti shoes! This is the world's first <laughs> portraits with graffiti shoes. Go! There we go. Ruth's painting with her feet. And what a beautiful picture it's going to be. Is that the shape of my face? Yeah, that's Sean's face. <laughs> a mouse might be useful. Ruth, how do you feel your beautiful artwork is going? I think it's going great, but I might need another colour. I think you're going to want to frame this at the end and have it somewhere for all to see. Who's going to make the massive frame? <laughs> so this is the very simple process of unloading a paint can and reloading with a new one, a new colour. This is almost like a usable, real product that you could sell to people. Graffiti shoes, anyone? I feel like it would ruin towns and cities if everyone had graffiti shoes. It's coming out brown because it's mixing with the colour, the purple's already in the tube. Oh yeah, it's going to turn orange. I was like, what? Beautiful masterpiece you're creating, Ruth. You like it? It's stunning. It's, it's so like me. It's incredible. Ah! <laughs> They've not stopped. Oh, Ruth, uh, she's signing. <laughs> that could look worse. I would give you a solid six out of ten for that. Yeah. You know, if you said, who is this? Is this Ruth or Sean? You definitely say Sean, so I feel like that's a win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the green! Whoa. Oh, look at that! Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna, gonna attempt to go for a greater amount of detail than Ruth's because I'm competitive and uh, I want to win. I feel like this is gonna be quite offensive. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a chin. A chin? <laughs> Have you ever seen an outline that looks more like the shape of Ruth's face than this one? <laughs> okay, ears next. Ears that have been attacked by a dog. Which way's up on this person? There's a chin down there. Isn't that obviously a chin? <laughs> the biggest problem here is my terrible balance. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Unlike Ruth's drawing, I'm going to attempt to do some lips. So we're switching out. Orange. Orange for? This beautiful, perfect lip colour that we've got here. This is the colour of Ruth's lips. I've done- Bright pink. <laughs> yeah, no, that's perfect. Perfect colour match there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Lips, 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 lips. There we go. Have you ever seen a woman before, Sean? <laughs> it's exact. it's like I'm looking at Ruth. We're into nose territory now. I mean, that doesn't look like a nose at oh, all, Sean. Yeah, look at that, look at that. <laughs> stop, stop. Bit of a delay on the- on the old remote control. When you're creating a portrait of somebody, it's really important to get the eyes right. Eyes are a very intense part of the body. They connect you to the soul. <laughs> stop, stop it. No, stop, stop, stop. I have a master's in fine art. Can... Yeah, can we just point out? <laughs> Sean has a degree in this. I, on the other hand, am self-taught. Look at that, that's the fine art degree right there. He looks so pleased with himself. Look at that little face, people. He looks so pleased. We seem to be missing hair. I seem to oh, be yeah. bald at the moment. Ruth's hair colour is a, is a sort of kind of dark 
browny, blacky sort of color. There's probably a better word for it. Um, but we haven't got that color. So I'm going to use this color, which was the closest match that I could find. So orange. <laughs> Forget people's comments in the description box below. They don't need to leave them because I know how good this looks. How do you feel about how you look in your beautiful portrait, Ruth? So many things I should be offended about. <laughs> I think it's exactly like you. Uh, yeah, I mean... It's, I mean, it's more like you than mine is like me. No, that is totally you. So now we've got the hang of using the shoes. And created some beautiful works of art. We want to paint something that is going to actually stay in the workshop. And I wanted to paint the main doors of our workshop graffiti style in beautiful artwork, but I was told no. Yeah, after seeing Sean paint a pale portrait, he could not be trusted with the main doors of our workshop. So Ruth wants to paint the toilet door. We compromised. The beautiful blue toilet door. Um, but you may notice that our toilet has some inconsistencies. What, like half a wall? <laughs> we took on this workshop at the beginning of the first lockdown um, and we want to do a whole video where we upgrade it and make it better. But we've done nothing yet. We haven't done it yet. Um, so if you're sat on the toilet in this workshop, someone can just peer over the top. We are going to change that, but in this video, we're going to use our graffiti shoes to paint the door. <laughs> What's just happened? <laughs> There's one slight flaw in our design of the graffiti shoes. Basically, these pipes get quite full of paint and when you wait a little while between using them, basically the pressure builds up because of all the dry paint in the pipe. And then basically the pipe just burst off and covered everything, including me and everywhere, in paint. So that's a slight design flaw. How long do we think until the pipes of my graffiti shoes explode? <laughs> I think mine's gone. Am I orange? You are. It you did hit my face. Your face. Well, that's pretty good timing. We've literally just finished it. I think this might be the end of the test for this invention. <laughs> there is paint everywhere. Yeah, paint on Ruth's face. It's fun though. Paint there, paint there. Ava, this is an incredible invention. And as soon as we get some more pipes for my shoes, I'm definitely painting something else. This is the most fun I've had with spray paint in a long time. Anyone else want us to paint their toilet door? Let us know. A uh, few smudges, but you know, first time. So, graffiti shoes are incredible. They work so well. Ava, thank you so much for your amazing invention idea. We have loved building them, testing them out, painting some portraits, painting a door. Exploding some paint. Exploding some paint. <laughs> Don't worry though, we have some new pipes on order. And so we will be painting some more things with our graffiti shoes. So let us know what we should paint and then follow us on Instagram to watch us do it. And if you know of any kids who might like their invention ideas brought to life, then we on our channel are the people to do it. Check out our website, which will appear on the screen below to see our latest challenge. And if you like this sort of thing, then subscribe because we do this all the time and who knows what crazy invention we'll be building next. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>